Um, so let's just start. Just okay. start off. Um, I'm here with my friend Omar at the Lori Children's Hospital. And Omar, please tell me what you do here. Uh, well, I manage the interpreting services department and translation services. Uh, and uh, basically what we do is we provide language services to any patient that cannot speak English. Uh, that means that obviously I can't speak you know, 200 languages, so what I do is that I, I hire the, the people that I need to provide the services. So if it is through our staff interpreters that are mainly all Spanish because 90% of the work that we do is Spanish, um, or with the help of agencies, community agencies that have uh, pools of interpreters in various languages. So in-person interpreters we can bring up to 40 languages to the hospital like an in-person interpreter and then we have access to 200 languages if you combine a remote interpreting capabilities which are phone interpretation and video interpretation as well. Oh my God, wow, so if a guest comes in, a child, and they, their family speaks Portuguese and doctors have to relate to them, you bring someone in. Exactly, that's what we do. Uh, our job is to not rest until we get the interpreter. If we can't get it right away, we make sure that we can get it as soon as possible. And over the phone, it's like pretty instant. Uh, but sometimes we require, it's, it's required to bring a person because it's a more in-depth matter that really could benefit from a, an in-person face-to-face discussion. You know, we have grown our reach with uh, video interpreting and phone interpreting as well. So the remote interpreting option is always very important. It's always important to, you know, work with the right partners also. Uh, and, um, you know, going back to your question about how long, you know, the program has been in place and how long I've been here, uh, the program per se started around 97. And so my predecessor, you know, the, her name is Wilma Alvarado. And Wilma Alvarado, uh, she has been, you know, she left Children's to become a national figure advocate for interpreting services in healthcare. So she works with the National Council of Interpreting in Healthcare. And since she left, I, I took over in 2004, and I've been here since 2004 trying to, you know, uh, live up to what she created. And, uh, and now we have made our program grow, you know, like we have doubled the size of the program. And, uh, and now we have, you know, I think more and more capacity to help more people.